Tonsa, Wild Killer here, and we're back. It's been 10 billion years, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's been like a month or so. Anyway, we're back with Black and Pink, a Zanvis fan- No, Z no Zanvis, god damn it, wrong one. Ch Zane Chan. <laughs> Zane Chan, fic. So, <laughs> the- before we start uh, start reading, uh, the I forget I always keep forgetting to mention this, but the the link for the story is in the description. Okay, so let's start with chapter three. The date. Also, I'm not doing the voices. Just okay, whatever. I had my bag my bag packed, and I was on my way to pick up Kwai Chan. When I got there, I saw her in a pink t-shirt and jeans jean shorts. I had a black t-shirt and jeans on. She could tell I was blushing because Afmao took my mask. Y you look amazing, Kwai Chan. Thanks, Zane Kun. She blushed a little. She got in the car and I drove to the location. Here we are. I parked the car. We were at a roller rink. We walked inside and I got us some skates. Here. I handed her some skates when we sat down. Th Thanks, Zane, Zane Kun. She put on the skates. Are you okay, Kwai Chan? You're stuttering a lot. Kwai Chan's fine. It's just I don't know how to skate. Well, I'll show you. I grabbed her hand and pulled her onto the roller rink. As we started doing laps, I saw all our friends walk in, even Af Mao. Just then, Kwai Chan fell onto me. I I'm sorry. I stopped her from talking by pressing my lips against hers. I could feel myself getting hotter. I was blushing so was she. I could hear camera snaps in the background, but I didn't care. I felt like the world revol revolved around Kwai Chan and I. I I really do love her, I thought in my head. When I pulled away, Kwai Chan was as red as a tomato. I was too. I'm sorry, Kwai Chan. I don't know what came. She grabbed me by the back of the head and gave me about a five-second kiss just to stop me from talking. I looked over at our friends. All their mouths were dropped or fangirling, aka Afmao and Gareth. Kwai Chan, yes, Inkun? Go get us a table. Here's some money for pizza. I handed her 20. Oh, and you could get yourself a drink. What are you guys doing here? I said, rolling over to him. Af invited us, Z Travis said with, a, with his arm around Kaylin. Af! I was I whisper growled. She just smiled and shrugged, then grabbed Aaron and went into the rink. I started going over to the table where Kwai Chan was, when Gareth grabbed me and spun me around. So you and Kwai Chan, Gareth, can you just go skate and let me and Kwai Chan enjoy our date? Uh, you're on a ah, you're on a date. Just leave me alone. Okay, but I'm getting I'm letting mommy know. Gareth, you. I started to say, but cut myself off and calmed my voice. Fine. Only as long as you leave me alone and when I'm with Kwai Chan. Deal. He rolled off and I went, into, went to the table. So what did you get? I said, sitting down. Kwai Chan got pepperoni pizza and two chocolate shakes. She passed me a shake. Nice. Oh, Kwai Chan, I got something for you. You didn't have to, Zeng Kun. I pulled out a small box. Kwai Chan, will you be, be be my girlfriend? Yes. I handed her the box. She pulled out a pinky cake and I ring and one ring box, one ring box. She opened it to reveal to reveal a ring with a pink diamond. Is it real? Yes, it's a promise ring. I love you, Zinku. She pulled me into a long kiss. Chapter 4. Moving. When I got home, Kwai Chen and I agreed that she would move into the neck in the next day. I would help. The next morning I woke up, and for once, didn't want to destroy the world. I got up, put on some clothes, and went over to the girl's house. When I knocked on the door, Kwai Chen answered with a bright smile. I gave a little smile back. Zang Kun. Yes, Kwai Chen? Um... She pulled my mask down and leaned her head up to my ear. I like your freckles. I kissed her and we started walking up to my room. 
I kept my mask down. So, what did you want me to pack? I said as she pulled out two suitcases. Both were pink. One had my little horsey on it, and the other had a cat on it. Clachem will pack her clothes. She blushed nervously. I just smirked. Okay. I started taking her stuff and putting it in the cat suitcase. When we had all our, her stuff, we moved into my house. Kwai Chan, I have a little gift for you. Okay. We walked up to my room. I showed her a pink and black dresser. Kwai Chan loves it, Zankun. I thought you would. Now you could put all your clothes in here. In there. Okay. She ran off and started unpacking her things. Then I got a text from Garth. Mommy's coming. To be continued. So, how was that? Tell me what you think's gonna happen next, based off what Garth text. Like if you liked. Comment what you think. Subscribe if you want to. And we'll see you next time. Bye.